Hello, loves. <laughs> I am up at midnight right now because I was so inspired to do this message right this moment. <laughs> and I was kind of like, well, should I just wait till the morning and, you know, do it first thing? And then I was like, you know what? I'm so excited to talk now. Let's talk now. So I'm recording one of these so late in the day, which is so unusual for me. Um, but things are kind of flipped upside down like that anyway. So do kind of open to new interpretations of things right now where, um, okay, so I'll just go straight into it. So one of the big things that's been happening to everybody energetically is headaches. And they started when the sun moved into Aquarius. Um, so they started with the with the the they started around the 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 new moon of Aquarius, which was around the twentieth, and then when Mercury went into retrograde, we have been having this mental space rewiring, and basically what I was shown is that, um, basically we have like this bubble around us, and this bubble is. Um, what we are really believing is possible based on what we've been told and based on what we've experienced in life. So we there's all this area outside of the bubble and we're saying things like I'm manifesting my heart's desire that's something outside of the bubble and we're saying things like I'm living my soul's purpose and that's outside of the bubble so we're doing all these affirmations and we're doing all this dreaming for all these things that are outside of the bubble but we have not realized there's a bubble around us so we're saying why aren't my things manifesting why am I not in a job that's on why am I not in a, in a loving, honoring partnership? Why do I still have money problems? Why do I still have health problems when I'm saying all the things and playing with my crystals and playing with energy and saying the right affirmations? Why are things not manifesting for me? So it's all because we basically have these bubbles around us and we're only able to manifest what's inside of them. Even though we are saying, I want to leave my day job and be an artist uh, but because those bubbles are holding us in we're not able to manifest into the unlimited potential space so what is happening with the headaches <laughs> um, and, and and you may have noticed too that you're they're unusual headaches so they might last a couple days they might move from different spots in your brain but what I was shown is that it's kind of like this mound and they're that there's like a, an eruption kind of happening in one spot and um, if there's so much to have to be worked on with you if there's so much to have to do to transform your thoughts into an unlimited potential space then you're gonna have multiple headaches over days or consecutively and um, what is happening is then that eruption kind of subsides a little bit until the next day and then you'll wake up with another one so it's kind of a gradual process for some people if the bubble you have around you is that thick and dense and um, really keeping the your dreams at bay so what the headaches are doing and what you're going to start noticing now is a much more free and liberated sort of space of being and it, what you're going to notice too is um, like the new solutions to old things. There will be, you know, you might have had all these problems where before you would just get fed up and, ah, oh, I'm so mad about this, it didn't work, it's broken, or whatever. And then you'd walk away from it and you would just leave the anger energy of it not working out around the situation but now you're gonna go back to those same situations and you're gonna be like oh my gosh I could do this oh my gosh I could change it like this and it'll work so there's new solutions that are gonna start coming to your brain because of these headaches so if you've been having the headaches they're a blessing <laughs> so know that if you're still in them they, they should be starting to stop and especially as we're now moving into Pisces and with mercury going direct so it was a it was a it was a mer it was a mercury and, and Sun gig <laughs> coming together <laughs> and it was all about really like changing our brains to seeing another perspective of things and kind of even ingenious 
um, sort of things where you're just like, oh my gosh, I have the most amazing idea ever. You're not going to believe what I came up with. <laughs> so that's going to be a part of the, the change that's going to be happening with your brain. There's also going to be, um, there's going to be things with, so, okay, so you know how like you're so inspired about something and you get this great creative idea and you're like, this year I'm going to do this, I'm going to live my dreams, you know, whatever. You get these really inspirational moments in your life and then you're like, I know I'm going to do this, I know I am. And then you start moving towards it and then a few days down the road, this doubt creeps up in you and then you're like, well, maybe I'm not that good at it or can I really manifest money from this? And are there so many other people doing this? Am I, should I really be doing this? Is this really my dream? So you, you, you have all this enthusiasm and this faith and then you go a couple steps down the road and then you totally lose faith in yourself. So that's one of the things that you're going to notice is gone and you will have testings so you will have the same testings that um, come into your path where the triggers come up whether it's a family member or it's um, seeing what other people are doing and feeling that competition comparison vibe so that kind of thing will happen but what you're just gonna notice is that your brain kind of is like whatever I can do this and you're and you're not gonna let those same creeping um, nagging fearful things come into your system so it's really powerful like that and you're just going to notice that you're starting to handle things differently and this new change is from those headaches you were having so how about that it really was like that mound was kind of erupting and breaking holes in that bubble that you have around you and now it's kind of trickling in um, and expanding with these other kind of things that you're now going to be able to manifest and with each one that you do manifest your mind is going to be expanding even more to what you really can have in your life so on a collective level every single one of us right now is having these kind of utopian visions of um, what we would like to change in our life and what we really believe is possible and the difference is that I mean we might have had these same visions before but now we're gonna know they're possible and like I say you know we're all on different timelines so you know even in giving readings we have to understand that we're all in particular spaces in our life that aren't going to be manifesting the exact same things for everyone you know even how my career took 14 years of dreaming for it to manifest I was ready in 1999 to go I had it all written I had the book written I had the whole vision um, in my mind I had it written down I was visualizing I was ready to go right then and there but it took 14 years to manifest and now where I'm at now I can see that I had to have a lot of those steps from my past I had to have a lot of those experiences I had a lot of people yet to run into along my journey so you know just because you say you, you want to be living your dreams and um, you want to be doing this stuff right now don't get down on yourself if the universe isn't bringing to it to you just yet. Don't get down on yourself if these other people around you are having these things happen, but you're still not. You know, don't get down on yourself because there is no rush. Um, what I've noticed about people who rush, 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 gobble up all the books on every subject, just want to get to that final point, they might be full of a lot of wisdom and a lot of skills, but there's this really strong discontent. And that's what has them being like the Pac-Man, now have to eating something else, now have to eating something else, now have to eating something else, you know. And now I need something else because I'm not satisfied. It's the same thing with like careers, how you'll see someone who's like, I do this, I do that, I do this, I do that, I do this, I do that, you know, I, I do, sh sh you know, like, I mean, I do so many different kind of readings that I can do for you. I can do a sham shamanic reading, I can do a human design reading, I can do a numerology reading, I can do an astrology reading, I can do an ener energy reading. I know about all those subjects, I've studied all those subjects, I continue to embark in all of those subjects, and I enjoy, um, 
understanding those kind of things, but I still like direct my focus in kind of one direction, you know, and that's what a lot of us are kind of learning. You know, if one thing doesn't take off right away, we go, oh, I'm going to go delve into something else and study it hardcore down to the roots of what it is. And then it doesn't take off. So you go, oh, okay, I'm going to go delve into this whole thing again and go all the way down to the roots and find out what it is. And then you have like 50 certifications, two PhDs, but nothing's working out. But nothing in your life is really manifesting the way you want. And it's really just because, you know, and this energy is so showing it to us right now, but you know, we're really supposed to narrow down our focus and put it into a couple things and give them our all in knowing that they are our soul's purpose work because they relate to childhood things, they relate to, you know, all these different kind of interests that we've had throughout our life and they are utilizing the best gifts that we have, whether that is giving care, whether that is being a writer, whether that is being supportive, whether that is educating, whether that is healing. Um, so this energy right now is pulling a lot of people back. This is one that's kind of lazy. You might even think you're being really lazy. You might think you're feeling like you're on vacation. And let me tell you, that's okay. <laughs> I'm the first one to say that being a Pisces myself, and we have so many planets in Pisces right now, but I can lay in the hammock all day if I'm allowed to. But I have a Capricorn rising, so I work morning till night instead if there's work to do, and there's been work to do for years. So <laughs> I just go and go and go and go and go and like don't even have time for the hammock. But if I have time for the hammock, I'm in heaven, and I won't ever get out of it, and I'll just lay there and dream. But I've really been doing that a lot the past several days because we're in so much Pisces energy, which really does want to pull you back and have you kind of realigning your ship in a better way so that you're not scattering your energy out to everything like I say you know throwing your net out trying to grab everything out there just trying to have success just trying to be famous just trying to be well known just okay okay I need to put out a blog and be a writer okay I need to you know everyone's just like grabbing for everything and mostly based on what they're looking at other people who are having success looking at what they're doing so it ends up creating these really unstable people they're not really happy there's a big discontent there's a depression there's not um, this just satisfaction with life when truth be told it's a timing issue you know and it's like because when you are in your groove and in the groove that is the correct one for your soul um, everything greets you like on an escalator ride. You just need to stand there and everything's just going to keep coming to you. But we don't really have that in our body. We have that like, I need it now. I'm looking out at what all these other people are doing. I should be famous by now. I want to be well known. Um, I want to, you know, whatever those kind of things people want. But, uh, so in saying that, that's why I'm saying that right now we are really in a space of going for our dreams and um, really kind of opening our minds to the truth that we can have whatever we want. You know, so those the headaches and the migraines were erupting this bubble around us that's based in our brain that was actually keeping us into that, but I'm not really good enough. Um, but I'll never really make money with this or whatever. So kind of breaking through those limitations. But now you have to honor the natural flows of when things are going to manifest in your life because you may still be a decade away, you know, honestly. You may be a year away. You may be three weeks away, but you may be a decade away. Just like I had to wait 14 years for this to manifest, you know, and and now, like I say, looking back, it feels perfect. I'm so glad I waited until 2012 to finally come out in the world. It makes so much sense now, you know. I'm so glad I may have not had the the as well of a reception had I come out earlier, you know. So um, these are all things you kind of just need to like settle into and this settling into the trust of life and that everything is flowing along just as it should and it's not really good to compare yourself with others um, but I would say it is good to surround yourself with people who are doing things you want to do 
and it's um, it's good to celebrate people who are doing what you want to do. It's really good to uh, uh, put that energy out there of, oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you and what you're manifesting. It's really good to immerse yourself in that kind of energy because something about that changes your brain to then being able to manifest your dreams quicker and to manifest the situations that are going to bring you closer to your dream because there's a you know I've had this thing coming together recently with these people and it's so magical and it's so far out and and I was telling one of them the other night you know I was like this was orchestrated decades ago <laughs> you know I was like we this whole situation of where we're at right now was orchestrated lifetimes ago <laughs> you know if you can even imagine that it's like um, it's just like everything is in such perfect timing you know and this energy right now is going to try to show you that with the Sun which I think is so beautiful that this this new moon is at the very first minute of Pisces it's zero degrees zero minutes it's not even at the f first minute it's at zero it's zero 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 so it's a total rebooting a whole new foundation is being laid out in regards to Pisces which is all about the dream and which is all about you know um, living your dream but like being able to dream your dream you know there's layers to this dream work but it's about really opening to um, believing in the potential that you can live a life like this or you can manifest things like this so it's I think it's really beautiful that it's at zero zero and then we have a Venus Mars conjunction at the very end of Pisces so culminating you know kinda of carrying that creative energy at the end of Pisces with the new encoding of us kinda of just opening to this dream of what's possible and then um, um, you know and then with Mercury you know kinda of going over the points that it was going over in the retrograde in Aquarius which is that thing that has been opening us to a new way of using a new way of um, having our brains manifest our life experience so what we really believe is possible I mean and as an example if you feel like no one's ever really gonna love you then that's exactly what you're gonna get you know so our brains are saying I can live my soul's purpose I can live my dreams that say I wanna work from home I wanna run my own business I wanna leave this day job I wanna not have to worry about health insurance um, and all those things that keep people trapped so there's a really big alchemical thing going on right now with the planet Pisces I mean with the sign Pisces um, and kind of rebirthing us into believing that everything is possible so that we can really bring the healing to this planet um, to the people and you know all these beautiful and wonderful amazing things <laughs> yay Pisces this is the greatest thing ever <laughs> so um, let me see what else was on it I'm already I feel like I'm already like done <laughs> with my talk that's funny I'm like okay now we're done 17 minutes <laughs> that would be crazy um, okay so there is another and this is again you always hear me I just love I love looking at the astrology chart I don't really like doing the lingo that people get when they read books of like listing off all the aspects and putting them all together like that that's really boring to my brain it's like it's that's I can never stand that it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to my brain but to actually look at the look at the symbols and stuff makes a lot of sense to my brain but then the energy of it comes out not that you know Uranus and North Node and they're squaring Pluto and da 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 like I'll, every time I hear those words I'm like I just am not interested in that um, but so there is some fascinating energy going on you know and it's too it's it's where like you know um, it 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 really is like uh, it's like this combusting kind of shifting kind of expansive kind of letting go of the past um, and letting go of the wounds because you know I I remember being so fascinated I actually changed a lot of my writing style back in around 2011 2010 
29 um, around there because I had been I at that point I was really big into all the documentaries and I remember there was something about this I don't even remember where it was now I forget everything Mercury and Pisces I don't have a memory um, but so um, these people well okay so basically <laughs> maybe I'm not really good at these nighttime ones um, but um, so basically what you're told is what you're going to believe. So we all know that, right? So we know that like the parents who criticize their kids and tell them they're never going to be good enough and they're big losers, um, they always end up kind of manifesting these lives that are coming through that filter, that though that filter is like that that bubble that's over them so what they've been told are all the things that they're putting in their bubble and now they're going through life and things just are manifesting what they've been told whereas parents who tell their kids they can do anything and you are amazing and you are so beautiful and da da da, da you know they don't go out having money fears they don't go out having fears that anything's not going to work out they just know it's going to work out so it does and it's funny i was watching this these hoarder movies <laughs> because i was just bored and let me just i don't know let me just watch these um sometimes when i anyway let's not get into that but so what i was found fascinating is that all of them had these kind of really traumatic things that happened to them where like their parents said this to them their parents did this thing to them um, their father died they can still cry about it 20 years later and um, so these bad habit kind of things that we end up doing in life are really just based on these psychological hurts that we've had and these woundings that have been done to us so we are thus manifesting a life through the filter of those wounds and with this new moon there's a lot of energy that is focused on really giving us a huge Huge supportive boost to just be done with that you know and to just like write a new story and to just like let it all go because it can't be changed and I'm not talking sweep it under the rug you know I'm not talking about you know denying that this happened and just playing la 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 I'm fine no, nothing's wrong nothing's wrong you know that's not really the way to go about it but instead dealing with it head on, delving fully into it, um, emoting whatever you can get to out of it to the point of then kind of shifting to, okay, I'm done with that. You know, okay, there's nothing I can change. I mean, even if it's like things like having to talk to yourself about, can you change this? Can you go back and change it? Is there anything you can do about this? Um, can you understand where they were coming from? Can you understand how this probably happened to them too? And they just, by natural reaction did the same thing to you what they learned and that there's a whole line of this these reactions going on down your family line or whatever so there's it's kind of like this um it's this you know kind of pulling yourself up about what you've had to experience and what your life has looked like and then just kind of moving on in a more positive way knowing that whatever you're holding on to is manifesting into your future. So that kind of awakening is happening to people right now. So you very well may be having situations of those greatest woundings coming back to you in messages so that you can let it out of that erupted space in that bubble that got popped open with the headaches. Because um, if you're holding on to it, you're just, it you're just going to keep manifesting situations surrounding that so it's it kind of takes a lot of bravery you know to courageously look at these things and deal with them and learn from them so that you can rise above them but the energy that's in this chart right now is saying that that's what we're doing and it's saying that that's what everything like the planets have come into this alignment to say let's do this now let's change our thoughts let's see this in a new light but let's deal with it like I say it's not about burying it none of the stuff in life is about burying it um, burying it or covering it with other things never gets rid of it you still never have peace you never have happiness because I tell you what you are supposed to be living lives where you are really kind of happy 
most of the time, even if all these crazy things are happening in your life because we're always having situations that test us we're always having situations that are not exactly what we want to be having we don't necessarily want to have flat tires on the side of the road we don't necessarily want our cars to break down we don't necessarily want to break up in relationships you know we don't necessarily want the printer to break down right in the middle of a hundred book process um, yeah me um, we don't want these things that are tripping us up. We don't want to have to buy a new drum overnight for the computer because it went bad and then to find out that the overnighted drum you got is bad too, <laughs> you know. So, but we have these testing things and, and it's okay to get frustrated in the moment with what you have going on and stuff, but then it's like, okay, whatever. Then it's like back to everything's fine. So we really are supposed to be living these kind of lives where everything is kind of fine, even though we're always going to have have rocking situations. People die. People get sick. People leave us. People fight with us. We have fights with our best friends so often in the course of our lives. But like I always say, best friends come back if they really are best friends, you know. So it's kind of sweeping things under the rug to imagine that life is only going to be rosy and you're only going to be laughing and having a blast all the time. But, um, the truth in fact is that there's a lot of rocky to life but there is the ability to be really courageous in facing what is coming at you deal with it and then move on to the next thing so that you're not collapsing in in depression and wanting to die and life's so unfair and I'm so mad we're not supposed to be expressing those kind of things as um, frequently as we are over the little bitty things you know I just had this thing with my internet my internet went bad um, and I actually they just fixed it today it was the wireless went bad on my modem <laughs> it wasn't the wires <laughs> it wasn't all these other things um, it was just the modem I even oh this was so funny my my stereo went bad in my car all of a sudden it wouldn't work and I kept thinking I think my car is giving me the signs that I'm supposed to get a new car and and my cars always take care of me so I was like it's just giving me a sign you know it's gonna give me lots of signs so it's not gonna break down on me it's gonna give me signs so all these days you know I didn't have it for like a week and a half I got really used to being so alert you know because when you don't have music you're alert in the car <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole different experience without music. Um, but then one day I was like, you know what? I'm going to pop off the, the, the face, the, the, the stereo face, and I'm going to tap it three times on the steering wheel <laughs> just to see if it'll work. <laughs> and it totally did. I tapped one, two, three, plugged it back in. <laughs> it works. So, um, but it probably wouldn't have if I would have been more like, ah, oh, I'm so mad about this. My life is so unfair. But, you know, I ask people to like check themselves. Watch how often you do that. Watch how often you get so like this is the end of the world, pissed off over all these small little things. And you don't have to be that way. You know, you, you really don't. You don't have to live a life where all these little things get to you and you have such an unstable life because you're going up, you're going down, you're going up, you're going down. And instead you can kind of just realize you are like Pac-Man and you're going forward and until there's something, you're not dealing with it. But when there is something, you're dealing with it. And then you've dealt with it and you move on. You know, and life becomes so much fun like that when you do. And I think that um, so many more wonderful things manifest in your life when you're always coming from that energy of, I'll just deal with what comes up and not be so controlling and upset that these things aren't going my way and instead go okay now I have to deal with this okay now I have to deal with this and I know that one because Saturn is conjunct my Neptune right now so what I've noticed from that transit is for four months now I get tripped up over everything <laughs> like everything I mean it's comical now at this point but I'm still just like okay <laughs> I'll deal with it you know the internet the printer the car I mean all these things for four months it's it's um it's been so much but at the same time blessings have come on the tail every, every one of those things that I just deal with and handle I just go okay let's handle it so um, another part of this energy too which that made me think of is because of the you know the journey through mercury um, going through Aquarius and because a lot of the changes with our mental space I mean you are gonna start feeling like a different person you're just gonna feel like gosh I feel so much more sure of myself I feel so much more confident that I can do what I dream of doing and you're just gonna notice like I said that it's more of a consistent long-lasting feeling 
feelings of being sure of yourself and that you can do this and there aren't going to be those dips that you're familiar with when you then lose confidence and give up on your dreams um, but again like I say you might have to go some time instill learning skills um, meeting the right people having things come together so do understand that it's all a different timing for us and you just have to trust that and you just have to go with that uh, but community things are really highlighted finding your tribe is really highlighted coming together with people that you like I said feel like this was orchestrated decades ago that you were to meet these people um, that's highlighted in our life right now so know that there's also this really sweet amazing coming together with your peoples you know and be open to that because there's so much love right now in the world when we're coming together with people like this really strong affinity is what you can have with these situations and it really like I said it started all this stuff that I'm talking about now really kind of started around the January 20th and we're ending a cycle that's actually now kind of pushing us into there's going to be a lot more energy to make things happen. Things are going to start going really quick for us real soon, which is why I say if you've been feeling lazy, don't beat yourself up. <laughs> you needed the break, and soon things are going to go fast and furious. But um, we just really kind of had to pull back into this space to, you know, like we have to do often to kind of realign, refigure this out. Um, kind of map out your life a little more with how you want to be going and how you think it will you know be more appropriate of a path to follow instead of the 20 that you're trying to follow that's not working let me try this that's not you know and I can tell you that too you know because um, you know astrology you know was always in my life but astrology became the big big thing in my mid twenties early twenties um, and you know even when I created this dream back in 1999 I learned all those other things I talked about earlier you know like I kept having people give me everything to study these other things things always have everything metaphysical has dropped into my lap so effortlessly like I don't have to buy an entire course book study of a subject the whole thing will fall in my lap you know I'll meet the first student of a thing and it falls into my lap that she gives me all the course books all the videos all the learnings um, you know all these I've just I've always had it so effortless that the metaphysics is a big part of my life so everything falls into my lap but even though over all these years I studied all these different things um, I delved into all these different things I wrote so much about all these different things but where I really put my faith and attention and focus was in my astrology writings and you know I could have at that point too been like now I'm gonna do numerology readings now I'm gonna do human design readings now I'm gonna do you know whatever readings I could have done that this whole time but I still was just like I'm gonna focus on this you know this just feels like my thing I have interest in all these other things but this feels like my thing and you know now I really get to see that played out how it's really good that I didn't stray into a thousand other different avenues and then just be this oversaturated person instead just focused it all you know focus all my juice into one area and now it gets to just be like overflowing all the time and it's great so I always want you know I'm teaching a part of that in this class I'm teaching right now where I talk about that you know and really kind of narrowing things down a bit you know because um, too much can be too much you know too much can be too little you know <laughs> too much can be too little because it's giving too much to too many places so then the the effect is too little but too but full-hearted focus passion into one area even if it takes 10 years to manifest is not such a bad thing and but just play with the dream because you are being always guided into that area you're being guided into that thing that you're really good at you're always being guided into it and and your mind may say but how can I make money doing that and that kind of stuff but that's where you just need to push that aside you know and um, 
and really just kind of go into that dream of what you love to do and what you're really good at and what you shine at. It has to be that you shine at it, but it also has to be something that's long, long term in your life. You know, <coughs> like, <coughs> like you just know this stuff, you know, it's good when you just know it. Um, I think I'm going to end there. Like all of a sudden my voice turned off. It was like, okay, we've talked enough. <laughs> so I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to have the link down below for my newsletter and I'm going to be, um, doing the readings tomorrow and I will get those out in the newsletter and then I'll share them on Facebook and Instagram too and um, I'm gonna go into kind of where your new mercury alignment was done so I'll go into what part of your brain was realigned what part of your life is gonna have kind of a new fresh perspective and new kind of space and um, I also have had my shop closed for a couple weeks in, in case you've noticed I've been I just have been so busy in my business and I can't keep up and I can't breathe and I don't I haven't had days off in since like October and um, so I had to pull that back even though I'm still have like 150 orders to get out it's just like it's just it's just wild but so uh, I am um, I have that closed right now but in the process of feeling so restricted and so like I'm losing my mind and so like this is way too much this other part of my dream that I created back in 1999 to 2001 is finally manifesting with Aquarius Nation and I just had the 10 year anniversary on February 8th that was when I first came up with the name Aquarius Nation or I was told it they said Aquarius Nation and I ran inside and got the domain name um, 10 years ago back in 2005 and I didn't even get the website up until 2011 but I knew it's Aquarius Nation that's it the people bringing in the new age are the Aquarius Nation so it was so perfect but so I the moment I reached that 10 year point everything has come together with my new team so I'm going to be relaunching the store on uh, March 4th and I'm so excited and I have so much to share with you it's gonna be the most amazing thing ever but I I kind of have a team now and there's a whole bunch of us now and I'm gonna be sharing all this stuff I'm not gonna get into it yet because I'm gonna wait <laughs> I don't wait on many things all right I always I'm a tease where I like you know I share things like right away oh my gosh you're not gonna believe what happened but um, I'm gonna wait you know to kind of um, bring this out in a spectacular way but I do have some really amazing things on the horizon and everything has fallen together so and I know that it was gonna happen like that anyway because the where the mercury is for me right now with what part of me was changing so I'm gonna put that in the reading so that you know what part of you is changing and where you're kind of opening to uh, bigger aspects of your dream manifesting so that'll be a really good reading so that'll come out tomorrow and yes the store I think I'll probably even have yeah I'll have another reading to then let you know about the launch of uh, the new Aquarius Nation store um, so excited and all this stuff I dreamed it you know 12 14 15 years ago and now it's all coming true all of a sudden <laughs> I love it it's so great and I waited so long and did so many restaurant jobs and I waited so long and just held that faith so it's pretty amazing the life I'm living right now I'll tell you what but I waited a long time for it so that's why I think it's even more special I didn't rush it I could have rushed it a long time ago and it could have fizzled <laughs> but I think I waited so now it's not going to but okay so I'm gonna start getting ready to go to bed because it is very late it's 1 a.m. <laughs> I'm never up this late doing this um, okay but you have a beautiful new moon and sign up for my newsletter down below and I'll be sending that to you or um, you can wait till I'll put the link on this page when I get it done tomorrow so you can just go into it directly okay you have a beautiful new moon in Pisces